Hello, and welcome to this video. We are in a cabin here at the Gulshalla. It's uh, sort of in the middle of Norway. And it's the winter, as you can see, and it's, um, it's very cold. It's about 25 degrees below freezing. And we are going um, on a little road trip from this cabin that we are staying in now for a couple of days uh, over to Røros, um, which is uh, more east in Norway. And it's even colder than here. So we thought we want to give you a little bit of uh, tips and tricks on how to well, drive an electric car uh, in the winter. Share some of our experience. And the first thing I want to mention is uh, your washer fluids. Normally uh, the winter washer fluid that you can buy in gas stations and around in shops uh, are uh, okay to down to 15 minus uh, degrees. That's 15 below freezing. But um, as I said, here is uh, about 20 minus-ish. And we are going to Reros, as I said, and there is uh, about 30 below freezing. Uh, according to Yr, the weather app, I just checked. So what we do is you... Um, so a good thing to do is get yourself one of those um, concentrated uh, washer fluids. Uh, you can add into your uh, normal washer fluid, and this one uh, will go down to minus 30. Depends on how much you mix it. And if you're not uh, parked like we are now, we have been very lucky with this cabin. This has a lovely little garage. Uh, as we say in Norwegian, a vongshul that you can uh, put your car in. Um, one of these comes in handy. This is just, you know, uh, oh, I can. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a brush in one hand and a little ice scrape on the other hand. And of course, the car gets very dirty when you're driving in uh, the winter. Salty roads and dirty snow and stuff like that gathers up around the car. So what we do is we give the car a polish um, just before, uh, around autumn, you know. So you have a good foundation uh, to some protection um, uh, to the paint job, especially because Again, with this thing, you uh, go all over the car to, you know, to get off the snow. Which we don't have to do here because we're parked in this lovely garage. The car is uh, heating up the battery now. And let's bring me on to the next point. Um, plug in the car so you can uh, pre-conditioning the battery. And uh, you can also uh, preheat the car. And if you don't have that, I would strongly recommend you to uh, get a good top off of the battery before you, you park the car uh, in the cold. It takes a lot of heat to, uh, oh, it takes a lot of energy, excuse me. It takes a lot of energy from the battery. It takes a lot of energy for the battery to, to preheat the battery and to preheat the car uh, when you set off uh, in the cold. And here you can see a clear example of what I'm talking about uh, with the ice and the polish and the stuff. I have to, I have to um, clear this with snow, so I use the brush. And you can see clearly see here, this, this is driving havoc on a paint job. Havoc. This is driving havoc on a paint job. And in this new car, you have these LED lights. That means you won't get any warmth from um, the lights, so they won't melt the snow. So every now and then, you have to sort of uh, brush the snow off, so people can see your lights. And the same goes in the front, uh, the headlights, because, well, they're in the front of the car and they don't give off any heat because there are LED lights. And you have to stop and get the snow off, which is quite annoying. We will have some more uh, tips and tricks for you um, once we get on the road. But first, uh, let's take you inside uh, and show you this lovely cabin, because it's oh, really nice. Come on. Oh, just listen to that cold snow. This is really a winter uh, wonder magic land. Now this cabin here is a cabin that we hire. We got a really good price on it. And it's all laid out on one floor and has a lovely view over the mountain that way. But first of all, uh, let's take you inside and show you around. Now 
Now one thing about being in this lovely cold weather is that it takes about three hours to get undressed and four hours to get dressed. So uh, bear with me while I, oh, this is giving me a good chance to give, do one of those uh, cool, ah, too much. No, please uh, accept my sincere apology for that uh, unchristian behavior. And now the cabin. And yes, there we begin in this hallway. It's, um, I want to like a fancy review, like pretend to like I know what I'm talking about. Like, this mirror is made by blah, blah, blah. Cause I don't know, it's just, this is, this is a hallway. This is sort of the east end of the cabin. It's, it goes in three sections. I think there is a light switch somewhere. This section we haven't used so much. And here you have uh, one of two uh, bathroom sink for her, uh, her and he, he and her. Is, I think that's what they do in those fancy shows. Shower, closet space, pretty basic really. And here you have uh, master bedroom um, number one. Here we have a little uh, living area, sitting area. What's that the studio called in English? Den. Den? Hmm. Well, here we have a room that looks like this. In here you have sort of a closet thing going on. This is just for maintenance. You have your spare lamps and switches and what have you not. Remember, we are far up in the mountains here. Let's take you into uh, the big living room. Follow me. And yes, kitchen. With a nice cooking, uh, I won't call it an island, but it's sort of a bench thing. You have your micro, your... Um, oven in here you have uh, the fridge and you can judge her for our uh, so and so eating habits and if you do a 360 turn uh, here now you can see our uh, dining table that we also use as an office and over here we have this lovely living room And my favorite thing is this uh, nice fireplace. It looks very beautiful and fancy, but it really doesn't give off too much heat, but it's very picturesque with the flames and everything. I guess if you really want the heat, you buy yourself a Jotlova, really, yeah. Oh, well, you know. And now let's take you inside uh, to the other sort of end of the cabin. Uh, we can bring, begin with the technical room in here. And you have your water heaters, an extra toilet that is functional, and all sort of um, frost things and yeah, stuff. Not really sure what they do. And now we will enter uh, in here where we are uh, currently living. If you come in here, you have uh, a little um, sleeping room for three persons. In here, you have the bathroom, and a shower, twin sink, and in here, you have another favorite feature, which is a sauna. Which is nice. And now for the last bedroom. Yep, 
this is where we sleep. And here you have uh, a door to um, the terraced uh, area. This goes around pretty much the whole cabin. And I will do a clip now, I will do some magic and I will show you the view right now. And last but not least, uh, you can see my drone hair is drying out on a table after a little unfortunate accident we had uh, earlier this day. Well, good morning. We are uh, getting ready to leave the cabin now. As you can see here, we have uh, packed uh, all our stuff uh, there. How are you doing? Who are you uh, getting ready? I'm ready. That was the last uh, cup in the cupboard. I want to show you the view uh, that we have here before we go. It's pretty decent. I can't go outside because I don't have any shoes on me, but uh, I think you get the point. All beautiful wilderness. Oh well. Let's find the car and head to Rurus. To say we are traveling light will be quite not the correct way of uh, describing the situation, but uh, well, we are basically just moving. Uh, <laughs> yeah. How's the temperature outside? Cold! It should be, it's minus 22. <laughs> well, let's get our things in the car. Alright, so we have uh, packed the car now and we are about to set off. Um, and I see now the tire pressure in the car has dropped a bit. And that is a normal thing, because uh, when it is as extreme cold as it is here, the car has been sitting idle for a couple of days in a minus 25-ish degrees. So um, yeah, that's another tips and tricks for you. Uh, if you don't have like a automatically tire uh, monitor system, uh, like pretty much all new cars have, remember to check your tire pressure. Driving along here, I'm trying to uh, think of uh, more tips and tricks uh, for winter driving uh, with an EV, but I'm, right now I can't think of any. If uh, any of you uh, know something that I should be mentioned, uh, let us know in the comment below. Well, it's getting dark now, and I can see. I need to put some more light on me. Can you see me now? Well, it's only half past four, uh, but it's is it half past four? Yeah, no, half past three actually. And it's getting darker, and uh, December being the darkest month of the year, it's uh, well, it gets dark early. But I think we're just gonna drive up to Alvarev now. We're gonna have a little uh, charging stop there to buy some food, and uh, then we're gonna find our cabin up in uh, Reros. It's not a cabin, it's a, a little apartment, but yeah. Yes, here we are at uh, Alurum, at the Tesla Supercharger Station. So now we're just going to find ourselves a free bus, get some juice, and get some groceries, and uh, yeah, then we are off to the cabin. It is not a cabin, but as I said, an apartment. Stiff frozen. So we have the car charged up now, and uh, we are going to drive up north uh, to Österdal. And now the 
time is uh, half past four. And it has become pitch black outside. And we are starting to uh, see all the Christmas uh, decorations that people have in their houses uh, in, the, in the town centre. This is uh, quite a joy to see. Also, we are thinking about stopping in Arvdal uh, to top off the battery uh, before we get to Rero so that we have a high save charge when we get to the apartment. Oops, that's. Um, uh, looks like I'm really out of focus. There, I'm back in focus. Woo! <laughs> all right. So we are still driving up uh, Esterdal at the uh, Riksberg 3 and the temperature outside is uh, minus 20 below zero. charging uh, we decided we want to have some dinner we went for a kebab plates and a little fun fact outside it's eight degrees colder and it is in uh, your freezer mm. I actually feel my uh, nose hair freezing <laughs> oh well Oh, are you cold, Gro? Yeah. Freezing. Oh. <coughs> Actually, that reminds me of uh, another tip um, for driving in uh, this cold. Of course, I guess you know that an EV uses more uh, power in uh, the cold. But actually, our uh, Tesla, it's a 2022 model performance has used twice as much power uh, today than it normally uses. And of course that affects uh, our range very much. And uh, is, is there something else uh, I should say? Bring warm clothes! Yeah, bring warm clothes <laughs> of course. <coughs> and gloves. And gloves. Yeah, of course if you're stuck outside without proper clothes here, you will close hair. In this temperature, you freeze to death in no time. three seconds. Swing to the left for to continue on the Sturdalsvägen. All right, so we are approaching uh, Tynset now, and uh, the temperature outside has even dropped some more. So now it's starting to forming some ice uh, on the inside of the wind here. And though we have a uh, nice and toasty inside the car. So yeah, this is getting exciting. One little unique thing about Röros is that um, it's uh, like driving to uh, an old museum. And yes, as I said, you can drive through it. Uh, the, all the town is functional, all these old houses, as you see, that looks like you're dragged 200 years back in town. It's a functional town, but it's actually streets that you drive in. It sort of gives you a feeling that you're doing something you're not supposed to do but it's uh, a really charming town and if you got the chance come up here in the extreme cold and experience this town it's uh, a really magical place and you 
Well, well, there's no car around. You feel like you've been dragged a couple of hundred years back in time. When a car comes along, you should just well, think to yourself, well, there shouldn't be any cars here. But that's another story. But come here, see. Ooh, wow. That was brutally cold. I think we need to show you what we just did. Because we parked the car downstairs uh, in the street. We carried all our stuff inside. We didn't want to feel it because it's 30 below freezing here. So. It is ridiculously cold, but what I can do is I can I can take the camera and just show you the situation there. Okay, so this is the street where we parked. It's a very cozy street. Reminds me of those old western uh, town. This is where I parked the car. I had plugged it in. Uh, one of those uh, engine warmer outlet that they have uh, in places where it's very cold. They are really dependent on having those things here because it's not only electric cars that get in trouble in, in these temperatures. All right, let's take you inside and give you a tour. In here in the hallway, here you have one bedroom, room three people. Next to that, you have uh, another bedroom, also double bed, and here you have a uh, bathroom with shower, and here you have the living room and the kitchen. And go. So what do you think of the apartment go? Cozy. Yeah, very cozy. Yeah. A lot more smaller than the last one. Oh yeah. And a yacht. Yeah. <laughs> so this one going, this one is working for all the movies. Yeah, so that's it. I think we're gonna end this video here. It's been a long day uh, with uh, driving and uh, I also realized that the tip and tricks we gave you for uh, winter driving was perhaps not the best one because we couldn't think of all the good tips. So uh, I leave a link to something in the description if you want to learn more. Meanwhile, thank you very much for watching. Bye for now. And yes, please, as always, subscribe to this small channel, help it grow. Thank you.